Hello everyone. Let's deal with this problem very quickly. We have square root of x to the power of 4 equals 9. And um, how do I deal with this? This is simple because we can equally say um, square root of x here is the same thing as x to the power of 1 over 2. So the 4 outside is there and it's equal to 9. Now, what again can we do? This is the same thing as x to the power of 4 over 2, and it's equal to 9. Because every time you have um, you have bracket like this separating two powers, you can multiply the powers. Now, from here, we have x to the power of 2, which is equal to um, 9. Then, to continue with this, we still have from um, our x to be equal to plus or minus square root of 9 because we have to take the square root of both sides. Now x is equal to plus or minus, we have square root of 9 and it's 3. This means that x is equal to 3 or negative 3. So this will be the value of x. But then let's look at this problem again. Square root of x to the power of 4 equals 9. Now, what if we don't want to do it this way? Let's look at another method, another way we can deal with this. We have um, square root of x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Okay, let me change this bracket. Okay, if I multiply this, I will still have what I got, what I had back, right? So this is equal to 9 is 3 to the power of 2. Okay, now from here, we want to use difference of two squares. By the way, this can just go with this. And we're having x to the power of 2 equal to 3 to the power of 2. Now, look at what we can do, or look at what a couple of persons would do. Because we have the same powers, we'll say let x be equal to 3. That is correct, but it is not completely correct. Now, let's bring this to the left x to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2 equals 0. Now we can apply difference of two squares. Your a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Hope you can remember that. So now, in place of a plus b, I write x plus 3. And then in place of... Um, a minus b, I write x minus 3, and this is equal to 0, meaning that x plus 3 is equal to 0, or x minus 3 is equal to 0. To continue with this, x is equal to 0 minus 3, or x equals 0 plus 3. Now, x from here is equal to minus 3, or x is equal to 3. So this becomes the value of x. Using the first method and the second method, we got the same values for x. Thank you for watching.